Welcome to KRWBIN, and today we are going to demonstrate the rhinestone professional ceramic titanium flat iron. And this is in the hot pink, and we'll also be using our purple. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's get started. First, you want to hit your on switch. I don't know if you can see that. Turn our on switch on. And you want to hold it down until your panel comes up. And then you want to raise your temperature. So that's these two buttons right here. We're gonna hit our plus sign. And it goes up to two, uh, 470, but we are gonna stick with, let's stick with 375. All right, 376. Now it takes about 15 seconds to heat up. We have our heating pad. And all of these items can be bought on our website, www.krwbin.com. And when this is off, you can actually travel with this. So this is a silicon heat mat. And then when you're using it like we are today, you just place it on top of the table and then place this on top of it while you're using it. All right, so we are going to... And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on both of them. You hold down your on switch till it stops blinking. Then you hit your plus and minus. We're gonna raise the temperature. Let's raise this one to Let's do 369. All right, we're gonna use our heat protection spray. You always wanna use some type of heat protection spray on the hair before you flat iron, just to keep it safe, protect it. Alrighty, and we're just gonna do a quick demo here. And we're gonna use each one just so we can kind of get our feel. All right, now this is at 376, so we're gonna see if this is hot enough. Hmm. Let's raise it. Go up to 390. This one is at, because we're testing it out today. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go 400 on this one. I hope you're able to see it. And we're gonna go 390 on this one. All right, here we go, 401. And this one is 390. Because I want to see how hot we can go without burning the hair. And yes, even with the rhinestones, you can curl around it. Got a little curl there. I want to take this one up to 430. I want to see how hot we can go without burning the hair. 
see how hot we can get without burning the hair. Now, of course, if you have really, really coarse hair, by all means, go as high as you can, which is 470. Okay, now we're cooking with butter. See, this is at 440. Are you able to see? I probably need to turn it around so you can see better. You want to wrap it around. And you don't want it to sit too long, but look at there. You see that? Look at there. It wraps around. So even with the rhinestones, you can wrap the hair around it and it will not snag. Release. Look at there. Are you able to see that? Is the sun doing us justice? All right, so we're going to definitely turn this one up. This one is at 459. And this one's at 440. So let's come back in. And at any point that you need to respray heat protection, by all means, please do. You want to pull it through. Look at there, look at there. Now we're cooking with butter. Now, granted, I've had this unit woo, for several years. So this is several years of wear and tear, and we're still going to make it look fabulous. All right. See, you can wrap the hair around, even with the rhinestones. Now, you don't have to tap. That's just a habit of mine. <laughs> doing it for years all right we're moving right along and I'm not going to be on camera the entire time doing the entire head but I did want to demonstrate look at that look at that look at that Let's see it. I feel like you can't get the full effect from the angle that I'm trying to record and um, actually perform the service. And like I said, you can pull the hair through even with the rhinestones. I know that's a concern um, that many people had. don't want to hold it too long but that's natural all right we are going to switch back to the purple now of course if you just want to straighten the hair you're welcome to put uh, some type of oil on it if you like to keep the hair straight but my main mission was to curl the hair The purple rhinestones and you notice the hair is wrapped completely around it it is closed as the hair is wrapped around it and we are not snagging the hair all right and that was definitely you can see it curls and if the lighting is not well enough, we will re-record this video when we can get better lighting. That's one thing about lighting. It is tricky. And 
and I like to do natural sunlighting. So <laughs> I'm gonna try a different heat protection this time. This one is a little thicker. Has a different smell to it. Let's see how well it works out. Going in with our purple. This heat protection does produce a lot more smoke too. See how I'm just easily pulling the hair through, I'm not snagging the hair. to switch between the two colors we have a variety of colors we have a blue we have a white diamond we have black diamond we have a light pink and we have a rose gold so if you don't like hot pink you're welcome to order any of our other colors look at that look at I'm gonna see if I can get a kind of move my body a little bit so we can get a better view for you as opposed for for me. Let's go all the way around. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at that. Would you look at that? All right, we're moving right along. We're going to go back to our handy dandy purple. Flat iron is closed. On this hair, you can go tighter or looser. Now, say you are, you have a teenager or a younger child that you're teaching how to use a flat iron. We also sell these heat protection gloves. They are silicon dots on the glove. If you order one, you would just put it on one hand. The hand that you are not using the iron in, if you buy two, that's even better because you can put one on each hand. But you use that in case you're flat ironing in your hand. To, now I want to demonstrate. Get the light one. This is on. Can you see that? 441. Can you see that? This is the silicon dots of the heat protection. This is the. So notice that I'm touching that. Notice that. So that is if you have an accident and you don't want the child to get burnt. Or they're doing the hair and they have hot hair. And you don't want their fingers to get burnt. So see how you can use that to hold the hot hair. Or say you're touching this part, look, look. This part is usually hot on most flat irons too. See, or say you want to smooth down the hair that's hot. Or say you want, this is an actual person and you want to protect their scalp. So you take the heat protection gloves and lay it on the person's scalp. Can you see that? Between the flat iron, which is 
bringing out hot heat and smoke in the person's scalp. So there's many ways that you can use heat protection gloves. So say you're on the side, you can take your heat protection glove, put it up against the person's ear, bring the flat iron down, protect the person's ear and the side of their face. And like I said, this is an older wig, so we have a bunch of straight hairs, straight ends, straight pieces of hair flying around. So you see, I don't know if you can see that smoke coming out of there. The heat protection gloves will protect the hair. And look, you can leave, see how the smoke is coming out of fly iron, but you can use the hand with the glove to wrap, look at that, you can grab your flat iron, see there? And then you can get your hand under here, protect the client's ear and neck, see that? But our heat protection gloves are wonderful for protection, especially if you are dealing with a lot of heat. Our ceramic flat. Look at that. I'm trying to get it in the sun. For